Thanks. Hi, my name is Dennis. I am architect. For my work, I have been using Blender for 10 years. I will to try about in its use in architectural design. A quick word before my very beginning. I'm really glad to find myself here. Obviously, any person working with Blender applications dreams to appear at the present event as well as to visit Blender Institution, this fascinating new location in Amsterdam. However, I'm still eager to visit their place and Etherpod Dock. That will be right to came here just to say, look what I have done. Most of the audience here are connected with 3D and work in various industries with their own specific features. However, everyone is going to understand all the picture of what I'm planning to say here. Despite the fact of Blender popularity in the web, I dare say architectural visualization is not widely represented or represented widely enough. For a long period of time, I have been oriented only on a couple of sites of Yorick Van Havre and Blender 3D Architects of Fallon Brita. That's very useful to watch other people works and that's twice as useful if they are better than your own ones. I believe what architectural visualiz visualization is sufficiently significant part within all 3D industry and I see no reasons not to exhibit what we have achieved during the recent 10 years. Our company is into project developments and creation of 3D visualization is not our primary focus. On the other hand, it's important as nowadays it has become the standard to create visualization for any future object. In the case of 3D and object-oriented visualizations, which is included into design specifications and estimates its specific character of ours, to compile all the documents, it's necessary to go through numerous variants and only after to pick up the correct one. On average, on each of the presented objects, we normally create something about four variants. Uh, I suppose I shall begin. While, my, uh, oh, while reading the report, I try to highlight the key points connected to the applications, create something like a list of key questions. Here, sorry, here is my list. And the first questions I would ask myself is the way not to be carried away with the temptation to jump into a specialized architectural ecosystem and that make people work using one application only. Naturally, we use a wide variety of programs and in case we took several companies as an example, we will receive a shared list of programs they use where major part will be played by Autodesk, of course. However, we discuss only 3D at the moment and here I've got my own story. It's, inst it's interesting to use some tools which could be combined with each other alone to create one so own, own working process. This very process is always a creative one and understanding what the fact was you. Yourself manage the process of creation. You, but not any tools or program do this is very important. Before picking up instruments, one shall understand what to do and how to do this. That may be not be an easy process. All the tricky moments are discussed with your working team in the first place. It's necessary to assist how accurate the result of the work carry out after all. Comparing your work with work of others, other one can easily reveal both advantages and disadvantages of the work done. You always have to improve your skills as each time we endeavor to do the work better than before. Information in the net help us to reach that when we find to work for what fascinates us. Improving your skills with Blender with the help of information from the internet or social networking sites, you understand how enormous the community of Blender users is. This brings back my feelings and emotions what I felt in the time of demo scene. Demo scene was an amazing movement where musicians would listen and learn from other musicians. Digital artists learn from other digital artists. Ter teams creating demo would send respect to other teams working on demo creations. That was the time when we used to learn from each other. What forms the unique experience of one wide friendly community? As for me, that ingredient is quite essential to form an internal driving force. 
Here is also some kind of uh, sense of freedom, which also underpins the freedom of, of choice. I've got this very sensation each time I use Blender. This is my path answer. By 2009, I completely switched over to Blender. The reasons were following. In 2007, I switched to Apple Macintosh. And this way, I had to refuse nearly everything I used while working on PC. AutoCAD, 3D Studio Max, Corel Draw, and etc. Everything I had as a result was Photoshop. Why? In actual practice, the first 40 computer I'd ever seen in my life was Power Macintosh 6100 with 60 megahertz CPU in the year of 1994. A widespread belief that the majority of digital artists and musicians based their studios with Macintosh fascinated me in those days. With the time passing, I also began to surround myself with synthesizers and tablets, and I was also eager to have Mac in the center of all this. But it was Modo what led me to Blender. And the program blew my mind when I got new feeling of comfort. Using Modo, I will spend something about an hour and a half to create a picture of 800 by 600. However, everything we create should be printed on a paper format of A3, which is 2,500 pixels at 150 dpi. That is minimum. The more the better, of course. The process was really slow one, and I never gave up looking for an alternative. But I had it in my hands already. In those days, I was trying to create a man in 3D, and when I uh, arrived to Bones, which model could not provide to me, I began to look for a way to make my model bend. And at some forums, I read what the easiest way to do that was export model to Blender. I was quite quick to migrate there. From demo scene, there is a joke. What to switch from impulse tracker to Renoise is very painful. Nevertheless, to jump from Modo to Blender appeared to be an easy matter for me. I can't remember exactly, but perhaps what happened due to some resembles of keyboard shortcuts and work with keyboard generally. My choice was either stipulated by the availability of game engine, the point I had always been interested in. As far as I'm concerned, an interactive view gives fuller understanding and talk taking into consideration the terms for work on an object. This way, in fact, is a bounty. Blender internal, L, uh, Blender internal render also in the end appeared to be enough straightforward in its use. Ambient occlusion gave simple and decent flat shading in contrast to other renders, which in terms of low settings always give the highest number of artifacts. Further, I'm going to tell more about such settings and constant lack of time. And one more thing. The top one. There is a GK to grab. Unbelievable, but now there is absolutely no need to move one's mouse up and down. And I am at object you intend to move. The mouse is always on the needed spot, and that's fantastic. And besides, it was completely new thing to me, what vertexes and edges may exist separately, not being a part of a face. The thing made possible to the prompt creation of frames, make section drawing for architects, make copies of drawing for some conjunction, and, and etc. I discovered what edges elements are more convenient than splines. You won't believe, but I often use Blender as a program for 2D drawings and edges. Here is a very useful and flexible element. Perhaps I'm not the one and only, and that may be one of the reasons why Grease Pencil got a, such a big push and acquired this popularity. Once, there was a curious case. I received a call from my client while we were working on an individual drilling. So he calls and says what he is at construction material vendors at the moment, and he needs to know the area of the roof. When I just open the blend file, select faces of the roof, and count the area with the help of an appending, it seems to me it has a don't code measure it. Our conversation takes about a minute. When I come to the office and address architects with this question, the question is asked is they normally work with 2D drawings and they have to draw each segment, then count areas of each separate segment, and in the end carry out a total result. So, in a nutshell, that's impossible for them to carry out all the operation in a minute. 
Thus, such instruments are vital for architects and for designers, of course. Here we shall include CAD tools or H-tools VTX. There are a great number of complex questions in architecture, in fact. In fact. Picture as an object dis discussion, picture as an object, dis object for discussion or representation play, of course, is a serious part, but inside, within the process of design, the role is not so vital. I do not want to dwarf the importance of picture, I just want to emphasize what all efforts are I met not at the creation of a picture, but a creation of decisions to let future object be ultimately similar to the picture. Both the creation of pictures in the process of design and the way they are created for promotional purposes is absolutely different realms with absolutely different approaches. This difference is not connected to the fact that the former is bad and the latter is good. They there are just different approaches. For example, working for sales department, we in fact produce a render to cry, buy me. Usually there we can see happy people walking in the midst of lush, surrounded by happy children riding their bikes, eating ice cream, somewhere in the background we can see fireworks. And in the middle of all of this is the object we want to sell. And on the contrary, when we make a render to be included into some design specification and estimates, it looks like more object-oriented one. However, that's not a focus at render. Here's attention is concentrated to ad hoc project. Visual representation of a project show its key elements, show the points where established rules and parameters are followed. Each angle in visualization for design documentation attracts one's attention on those decisions, which without the presence of any visual materials will cause numerous questions. As it is necessary to understand and show the kind of an object, its location, whether it is dominant one or a part of a group. It's also vital to portray the city planning situation and the nighttime illumination. This information, among other documents, is included at the process of, of coordination with city officials and being coordinated can be presented to the banks to obtain credits. Obviously, we work hard to create visual representation as deserving as possible, also to let sales department not to do all the job over. However, as a rule, it's enough hard to reach this. As creating picture I met firsthand at coordination, we exactly, we, we exclude all the irrelevant information normally used within the frame of advertisement. Basically, to be honest, we are always short of time for renders. It seems to me something what architects are the only people constantly complaining about lack of time for renders. In constant to those rest who, who are in 3D industry, although not everybody have got a deadline, of course. There are lots of multifaceted issues and modeling and rendering. Here's the technical side of the issue concerning 3D only. And there are the most understandable things in the whole process of work. All the rest, set of solution, what may be tricky enough. I mean, take documents with a limited validity period. For instance, in this case, it's great if one apply to you immediately after the receipt of them. Project development is usually carried out according to the documents issued and according to the terms of their validity. Construction process never stays static and thus the way the object fits the general structure, one can find out at the moment of coordination only, never before a hand. As while we are in the process of making design, our object around us continues their process of construction either. And typically these very moments show us what we shall add and something alter completely. The coordination moment basically it starts to be a final step for the sketching process. And we believe what here everything is going to be as smooth as possible, but in the result almost always you have to customize something at, of course, within some deadlines. That may surprise you, but I shifted to cycles just in 2018. When fellows made a slick denoiser, before I'd used Blender internal and frankly speaking, was enough happy with it. I can remember the times I didn't use to work with Blender and we used our renders at low settings as we always need everything quickly. It was constant work with artifacts, flashes, getting and all that. 
and mid-stage picture are always presented at discussion with the board of architects and there are a good number of professionals who will construct everything in pencil on the paper and before you and in case you have nothing to show in return you will lower your head and go and do everything you were said taking into account the fact that you have got something done something what you haven't been able to show as you hadn't got enough time to render it you are going to come and do everything over all in all it has to be said what using blender internal and having just ambient occlusion i was happy to show information of architectural plan honestly speaking that's enough it was my trick as i was often asked why everything was so clear and understandable i mean that there wasn't too much information in connection with light shades with real materials were identifiable from picture to picture by the way i have always been interested in the way of use ambient occlusion why it has got uh, wh why it has often got a small radius and a result narrow shading in the corners i have i have never seen that and just used it in a little bit another way for me normally the radius of ambient occlusion was little greater than a half of a longest side as for interior environment it's a longest wall and for exterior it's highest building that's needless to say it's not a trick at all and i become even happy using cycles and with the appearance of denoiser in the version 2.79 i'm able i i'm able to use between 20 or 32 samples and it's fantastic as most of the times now render take between 20 and 40 minutes for 3k image and with a new denoiser in the version of 2.81 it's quick as 8k in 30 minutes mind you i of course speak about macintosh only one shall get used to the better which is this is only that but come to my mind now well to make a conclusion i want to address the main idea of my report once more the main idea is what the task the process of project development focuses on form a particular approach to the creation of 3d and creation of final visualization the way we take notice of specific project decisions with the help of visualization in the end of the day makes our unique architectural features put in the other words to some extent even wow effect reach it here is a little bit different manner in that respect architects even put their cameras and lamps in different manner in contrast to other renders in contrast to a render for promotional purposes architects do not typically slick these ones this also connected to the sense of responsibility but this is quite a different story and we are all its authors thank you to all those present for staying until the end <laughs>